A better window, professionally installed for the right price. Right window. Sports Now on WTV News Radio. Where the 58-49 lead over Orlando, five minutes left third quarter. Tom Brady and the Buccaneers are moving on. The former Patriots quarterback threw for two touchdowns. Also ran for a score last night in a 30-20 Bucs win over the Saints in the NFC Divisional Round. 43-year-old will square off with Aaron Rodgers in the Packers next. Rodgers has as it want to be one and done with the Bucs. The former Patriots tight end called NFL Network. They have a lot of talent. He can see himself being part of another run next season. Now came out of retirement in April and he's played with the Tampa. Ohio State quarterback Justin Fields comes to the NFL draft after two seasons with the Buckeyes. He announced it on Twitter today. It's in the Jets, something to think about. The Bruins wrap up their season opening three game road trip tonight. The state against the Islanders in New York. Boston split its first two games at New Jersey. Face off Jets at 5 o'clock. Jeff Hammer, WBC, Boston News Radio. <laughs> Back to the roads right now, it is 143. Traffic and weather together, starting with the Subaru retailers in New England, all-wheel drive traffic on the three. How's the volume, Kevin? Well, Kevin, the volume's starting to pick up here south of town, especially on the expressway southbound. Starting to see a little more company coming down through Staff and Hill. You make it a couple of taps to the brakes, and a little bit slower down the front of Foot Parkway into the Brain Tree Split. Northbound's looking pretty good up through Neponton and Columbia Road. Routes 3, 24, 95, all in good shape right now. Still looking at big delays down in Yarmouth. Route 6 westbound jammed Union Street, two miles over to the right lane. Work crews at Willow Street, but just that left lane get it by. Downtown Boston, Stowe Drive westbound. You're tied up in the long fellow bridge getting out to the right lane. Work crews just after the half shot. Leaving the city on 93 North Town with official reports of a possible car or truck fire rather here by Bedford Square. Up on 495 southbound, police activity soon after Route 28, that and over stretch has traffic slow in both directions. And the upper end of 128 southbound seeing slowdowns out of Linfield most of the way down through that Reading stretch. This report is sponsored by Wendy's. New to the Wendy's two for five lineup is their classic chicken sandwich. So go grab a two for five deal and pick two faves like a Dave's single spicy chicken sandwich, nugs, and now the classic chicken sandwich. Two for just five bucks. Price and participation may vary. Limited time only. Kevin Brennan, WBZ's Traffic on the Three. 44 degrees in Boston right now. Partly sunny on this Monday afternoon. High around 45, but feels a lot colder, right? More like the 30s today. Chance of some rain or snow showers later this afternoon. Clearing out later tonight, though, dropping to about 27. Tomorrow looks partly sunny with a gusty breeze. High near 40, but feels more like the 20s. Wednesday, mix of clouds and sunshine. Blustery, possible flurries, too. High 36, partly sunny, high 35 on Thursday, and then getting close to 40 on Friday and 30s this weekend. Live, local, and fiercely independent, this is WBZ News Radio. Hi there, good afternoon, I'm Tina Gao. Here are the five things you need to know at 145. Security concerns leading up to President-elect Joe Biden's inauguration this Wednesday. More on that for you in just a moment. Gillette Stadium opening today as the first mass vaccination site for COVID-19, starting with doses of COVID for first responders. A highly contagious variant of COVID-19 that originated in the UK has been detected here in Massachusetts. And that comes with more than 2,100 COVID patients remain in a hospital. 433 people remain in the ICU. Back now to one of our top stories on this Monday, just two days to go now until inauguration. Here is correspondent Bill Denfer. Another historic week begins in the United States with Washington, D.C. now drawing comparisons to Baghdad's green zone. As Joe Biden's inauguration approaches, the nation's capital is in lockdown. The National Mall is closed. Miles of seven-foot-high, non-scalable fence topped with razor wire surround the area. And more than 20,000 armed troops, along with law enforcement from multiple jurisdictions, are on duty. The rehearsal for the inauguration was to be held Sunday. It was postponed because of security concerns. We scheduled for today. Across the country, demonstrations at state capitals generally failed to materialize, with journalists outnumbering protesters in most cases. The biggest gatherings involved a few dozen protesters, some carrying guns, but there were no incidents reported. 
He also said that there is an airy calm in Washington, D.C. as the inauguration approaches. Federal officials hoping it stays that way. That comes as participants in inauguration rehearsal were evacuated by security officials earlier today. But authorities also say this is all because of a fire several blocks away at a homeless camp. And right now it's not believed to be a threat. There will be a new generation of civil rights lawyers thanks to a huge anonymous donation. CBS's Jim Persula fills us in. The NAACP.